Hi, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Welcome to episode six of This Week in Spaceflight History, where I team up with my friends at the Orbital Mechanics podcast to recreate a historic, albeit sometimes obscure, spaceflight event. Today's mission, the landing of Space Shuttle Discovery on mission STS-60. This took place on February 11th, 1994, after an eight-day research mission. One of my favorite facts about this mission is that it was the former NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden's last space flight. I met him once. So have you ever been curious how the space shuttle landed? If so, find out how it worked on this episode of This Week in Space Flight History. All right, hip hip everybody out there in Mission Control. So sorry for the technical difficulties for those of you tuning in live, but joining me this week is Uncle Dad, uh, the everyday questionnaire. Uncle to everybody. Almost everyone. Yeah, and father to a some. Few, a few. Some. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, and also in the in the the back there in, in local Mission Control, in the, in the, ch- in the, uh, the live studio, is our, our cat master, Jared. KMJ. Hey, KMJ, buddy. cat master Jared. So, yeah, so... Okay, so first of all, if you're on YouTube right now watching this, you don't know what the poor people watching live have had to go through. They've had to go through about a million restarts. And I think we're finally, like, I think we're finally doing it. it I'm not good. sure if we are. It feels good. You know what? If we didn't have issues now and then, how would we learn to fight through? Yeah. No bird soars too flat, too, too close to the sun with his own wings. <laughs> I know for an absolute fact that you made that up 100%. No, I've heard something like it before. It's not, yeah, you're close. <laughs> oh, well, let's pop on over here to, to Kerbal Space Center. I'm going to show you guys how to land a space shuttle. But while this happens, I have to say, with all this like, all these problems and everything, I really want to get this helmet off. It's hot. Is there a solution for that? I can think of just one. What is it? The helmet's coming off. Let's drop that thing down on dry land. The helmet's coming off. Let every day I stroll take your hand while the helmet's coming off. Yeah, way better. Way better. Oh, man. So, like I said, this mission actually had a really famous, like, the, the, the head of NASA, he became the administrator under the Obama, uh, Obama administration, became NASA's administrator. His name's Charlie Bolden. So, like, I actually named the people for once the same as their names. Of course, nice. their last name's Kerman, but Char, all these different Charles, people. Charles, Kenneth, Franklin, yeah, Ronald, Sergey. They're the real Sergey. names That's cool. of the people that were on the flight. That's pretty cool. So, we're just going to just do the landing. So, I hope everything's okay this time on all the... After all the huff nuff. I think our friends would be telling us if it wasn't. Yeah, they're they're good about that. That's the beauty of doing it live is you get you get the experts out there in Mission Control. Yeah, I love that. I love that too. Where would we be without them? Oh man. Hey, how about a little something from Mission Control? I'd like to I'd like to see him somewhere. Yeah, oh yeah, you also need to get him down here. Which yeah. Hey Mission Control, hope you guys are tuning in. Hope everything's okay out there. I'm gonna put this baby up into orbit right away. We're just gonna get to it. Um so we're going to, because we don't care about, this is just the landing. This All this mission was is on this day in history, a space shuttle landed. And normally that's not that exciting. But I figure we might as well show you how they did it. Oh, let me actually explain this. So when a space shuttle's orbiting, um, it's just basically stuck up here forever, right? Okay. In order to land, they basically just slow down. So I'm going to slow us down here by using the OMS, the Orbital Maneuvering System. Um, ohms and this basically just these little engines and notice they're just slowing us down a little bit why are they slowing us down for pushing are we going backwards we're going backwards we're flying upside down and backwards we're right now backing it in we're backing it we're just gonna slide it on in we were inverted, we were inverted. yeah so what that ha- what that does is it lowers our highest or our lowest point in space so basically now you'll see this altitude is getting lower and lower and lower our periapsis as i've learned in our previous episodes um our periapsis exactly yeah yeah good job thanks so the periapsis gets lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower okay and now well i noticed that mission control is asking if i'm done for the night which i'm not refresh so um so what we're going to do is we're just going to load we're going to lower this periapsis until it's almost to the runway, but we need to leave it a little bit extra long because we do slow down quite a bit. Okay. So we might we don't want to over we don't want to undershoot it. 
yeah. overshoot it. We don't either. <laughs> we want to land on it. We want to land okay, on okay, it. Okay, okay. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, so, so here we go. We're just gonna we're gonna keep lowering this baby until now. Look, now it's about level zero. But if we did that, we'd land somewhere around here. Okay. So we're gonna keep bringing this baby in because it, you know the it arrow breaks. It comes through the air like this, like sideways. Oh wow. Not sideways, 40 degrees ish, like that. And it uses the bottom here, it's the heat shield. And that comes in a, a big surface oh, area, slows yeah, this, it down. And this slows it down too, right? Yeah. Yep. This is actually really nice to have this. Here. It is actually really nice. It's actually really a great little prop. And it's coming in kind of sideways like this? It, no, it comes in straight on. Just like that. They can beautiful. actually do what's called S turns if they need to slow it down more. Oh. Just like back and forth like that this. That seems like some real like off the off the charts type stuff. Like well, you know what's crazy is the computer actually did it. Really? It was all computer controlled. Until like the very final approach, it was all computer controlled. The, wow. the, 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 or the, the entry. That's awesome. So here we go. We're just going to basically bring this baby. We're just going to keep lowering as much as we can actually. We're, we kind of started our burn a little bit late because you, you want to do it almost on the opposite side of the planet in real life. But we're going to come all the way to like... It's still lowering, believe it or not, just not very much. See, we're still slowing down. Will you point to Kerb in there for me? So Kerbal Space Center is right here. Just at the, right at the edge of the Africa. The edge of Africa there, yep. Yep, that's okay. that's Kerbal Space Center. Okay. And so here we go. We're going to go to about there. I'm just kind of guessing because, honestly, I, like I said, I haven't actually done this properly yet. <laughs> so we're going to quick save it here, and we are going to – this way we can restart it if we need to. But then we just kind of flip around here. Like this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna speed us up so we don't have to like watch this whole portion. But now watch this. So we're just gonna come in. Ugh. When we get down to seventy thousand meters, is when we're kind of going to st start hitting atmosphere. So now we're hitting atmosphere. We can't actually speed up. We we kind of can, but we kind of can't. So I'm gonna pitch to about thirty five degrees like this. So see, it's kind of at this nice attack, and we're gonna use this big broad surface area here to slow us down. It's awesome. And dissipate all that heat, too, you know? It's actually, if this thing was going in, like, nose first, the nose would just blow up. So now we're getting to the point where, like, aerodynamics matter now. Yes, because okay. we're... Because up there, you could just float around through space, just... Any wailing, direction. Just wailing around and, and left and right. Anything. There's, there's virtually no air. Okay. There's still some air, just not very discernible. Okay. So, yeah, so that's kind of how that works. Um, so we're just going to come in like this, and you'll notice here... That now we're actually we're slowing down just a little oh, bit. We're okay. still actually technically speeding up, but that's because we're falling too. But we're actually lowering not only our apwaps, so our high point is kind of falling behind us, and our low point. Uh oh, we're not even gonna make it to Kerbal. Look at that. <laughs> we we didn't shoot it out far enough. We we I, I bled I off a little bit that, too much drop speed. Drop that nose. Drop, that, drop nose. that nose a little bit. Hope hope we can extend that glide a little bit. I'll tell you my favorite part so far is Chuck, Jan, and Kenny just loving life down there. <laughs> they just like do. they're watching kitten videos on the internet. <laughs> well, they basically are they at this are. point. Yeah. So I mean, Drop I'm not going to judge them for their for their love of this. No, I love it too. I I feel just like them. And actually, the cool thing is we can actually extend our glide range a little bit. You know, this will actually oh look, you can see it's starting to heat up. So that's just plasma. And that's okay for the shuttle to experience. It has to in order, to, like when you come right in, in the, right in the old throttle there, right in the old well tube. In real life, we'd probably be pitching up more. Okay, but we're we kind of trying to speed right we're kind of trying to to extend our glide range a little bit because otherwise we're gonna end up somewhere in these mountains here. We don't want that. I don't want that. No. Maybe they maybe Mission Control out there wants it. Hey, if you guys are out there in Mission Control, I don't know if we're having some communication issues. I want to make sure you guys are out there. Give us a good hi. So far, Sam Ewell and Fired Wheelman. Let me read Sam's comments. Would you ever play uh, Kerbal with RSS and RO, which means a uh, real solar system mod overhaul, and realism yeah. overhaul? Um, I would like to, but I keep Kerbal stock, or as close to stock as possible, just so those at home don't get scared off. Because Kerbal on its own is great, and it's still a great simulator, great visualization of the stuff. It's not, it's not, there's green, little green guys. It's not meant to be super hyper-realistic. Yeah. It's just meant to, you know, teach you something. So... Oh, oh, look at that. We actually did extend our glide range. Now, we're looking about perfect. So let's go ahead and pitch up a little bleed, bit more. Bleed a little speed off of there. Bleed for speed. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bleed for she, speed. She's really flopping around in the wind up there, isn't she? Yeah, so we're just going to do some of this stuff. Hopefully this, this helps us out here. So this is basically what it does. It kind of just holds a pitch. And if we were too far, we could start doing these S-turns. But 
in real life, that's what they would do. We're not real life. I think we actually are going to need to extend it again, believe it or not. Just eyeballing this, because now we're actually at our highest point. And you think... Highest point. So we are now just falling. Look at if we... We are literally just gliding, so we need to extend this out as far as humanly possible. Because you think we're going to come up short? I think we're going to come up short still, actually. Despite what this thing says. Because we're still slowing down, don't forget that. We are slowing down big time. Okay. So this but is all it did. We're not decreasing in altitude that much. I mean, it's pretty slow. It is very slow, and we want that at this point, because we want to extend our downrange. We want to kind of keep going a little bit here. And they wouldn't really do it this aggressively, because they're still on fire. Yeah. Yeah, so this would be pretty dangerous. Is but this, Is this oh. our space? Is this it right here? Yeah, that's it down there. Yep, it's starting to kind of appear on the, kind of on the horizon almost. It's exciting. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. But this is actually looking pretty decent now that we kind of put the nose in a little bit. Hopefully it's working out here. I'm a little bit concerned about our, our friends at, at Mission Control. Well, we're gaining viewers, so I, I think that... If you're new, if you just logged on, say hi. Say hi. Hopefully some of you came in here from, from Instagram. I, I did a little Instagram post. Did you? Yeah. That's exciting. Okay, now we need to bleed some speed off here. Oh, bleed for speed seven and a half. <laughs> Back four more. <laughs> Seems like we're going to overshoot it, Tim. It does seem like we're going to overshoot it. I, I didn't think, think we're going to we were... land a Fiji. Hey, maybe we'll, that'll be our contingency plan. Oh, man, I love that. I can see that Chuck, Jan, and Kenny are getting a, a little less Optimistic. excited and a little more skeptical. You know, I'm going to do something they never did or oh, wouldn't do. Oh, drop the nose. Drop the old nose cone. Just to bleed altitude now. Altitude and speed. Because now the top of our thing's on fire, which it wasn't heat protected in real life. <laughs> so that's a big no-no. NASA would have given you a big old, don't do that, please. Big old slap in the face. Please don't do that to our spacecraft. Any way to any way to loop around and come back. That's around. actually what they would do if, depending on where they come in, they would have two procedures. One would be like straight in, and one would do boop boop. I think we might be looping. Oh great! Well, we can maybe try that. Hey, there we go, Jay Jawanga. Hip hip. Long time YouTube lurker. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for tuning in live, Jawanga. Cool. I really appreciate that. That's really cool. So we're gonna try. I've never done this before. So if we do this, this is awesome. this is a pretty hard. Procedure. Look at, do you see how much speed we bled off when I did this pitch? Yeah, we should have done that earlier. Yeah, uh, that's what I was talking about. Those S turns are dirty. We don't have any like juice. Can we like fire them if we need to? We can't. This is this is just a falling brick at this well, point. Well, maybe we'll land backwards on the runway. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Red Dragon Skull. You're in for a minute. Don't worry. So is Uncle Dad. He's not going to be here very long. No, I'm just here. And then and then um, K and, then K and J is going to jump. Yeah, in. Catmaster Jared. I like how it's KMJ. Yeah. It was an accident the first time, but then I was like, yeah, I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> see if anybody notices. So now let's try it like this. Again, if you see, if you ever see a video of a space shuttle doing this in real life, uh, call for help. It's call your good. local FAA authorities. This is the worst way to approach the airspace ever. Once was a man named KMJ. He was the nastiest man in the USA. They called him Cabin Master J. You're getting your own theme song. Love it, give it up. KMJ, he loved the girls, loved the men, loved the whole USA, yeah. In a friendly way. <laughs> Jared, I love your song. He knew a little about science, a lot about space, some about photography, he loved face. <laughs> KMJ. They called him KMJ. That's Cat Master Jared. They called him K. 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 That's Cat Master Jared. Every day in KMJ and Let Uncle Dad. Ooh, yeah. Hey, we're about to do this. Maybe. I don't actually know. I I'm, think he, I know. I feel good. Look at my guys. When they're optimistic, I'm optimistic. Chuck, you're right. Jan, Kenny, they're in. You're right. I need to stop being a little pessimist here. Start, start breathing some sighs of relief because I'm bringing these boys home. Oh man, it'd be nice to come in a little straighter, but who's gonna? Beggar's who's gonna, gonna be choosers? No, as long as I land it somewhere, I can't pull up too much more because we're gonna lose too much speed. And then we're just gonna stall out. You need that. You need that airspeed. And I, I'm gonna save it to the last second. Although this seems to be an incline, but that's okay. Oh, that wasn't the last second. Well, I mean that is as last second as I can get, honestly. That's okay. I think we're gonna do this. <laughs> uh, we are going to land right on that little Humpty Dump, aren't we? 
It's okay. It's like the worst place to land. Hey. Oh, you know what? So what? They got to hike a little bit, get, <laughs> get the blood in the legs before they can come back from space. No problem. Yeah. I don't think that's a problem. We didn't Look come at, close to the runway. <laughs> that's okay. In real life, they would have come a lot closer to the runway. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. We're just going <laughs> to dawdle around. Well, I mean, honestly, I think that's about all I wanted from this. I'll probably try a few more times, maybe on the on the after hours. I'll let you go if you're ready to go. But Jared and I, I'll let Jared give us some attempts and stuff. That's gonna be Does great. You let Jared fly? He hasn't I mean, yet. No. But um, tonight's the night that I'll fall. For I've you. let you fly, but just a silly plane. <laughs> oh, you want to fly this? Last episode we talked about how. Welcome it was better than you back to me. Yeah, we did talk about how Jared's a lot better than you. Everybody knows most, that in every areas. way. <laughs> You're right. When did we decide that Catman Jared was spelled with a K? I did it tonight by accident, I and like then it, I decided though. I liked it. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's sticking forever. Well, Jawenga. <laughs> you know what, Jawenga? My kids loved that that too. We watched at least an hour of it, and they were just they couldn't get enough. That's awesome. Kids, there's something about uh, kids. They just it's, they're they're so they can absorb it all. It. They just yeah. like it. Yeah. And they don't even need to know all the details. They're like me. I'm a kid. You're you're just I don't a kid. really know anything. You don't know anything. I don't get this. I don't get it. I just love my little green fellas, and I love to see things go boom. <laughs> you're here for the boom. I'm here to try to make sure it doesn't go boom. I love a little poof, a little bang. And actually, we figured out that Catman Jared is Catmaster Jared. <laughs> Catman is uh, yeah, he's right. the opposite of you. He would just wants those guys gone. Yeah, no, get rid of those guys. But he you wants the spaceship to stay intact. So yeah, you want it to cool. explode. But you want how is that ever even a possibility? You eject them so to lose weight. That's exactly what we did last week. <laughs> yeah, that literally is what we did last week. You didn't watch it, did you? <laughs> I watched some of it. <laughs> oh man. Well, hey guys, here's the deal. Um, those of you on Twitch, stick around because um, this guy's got to go. Uh, Catmaster Jared's gonna join us. We're gonna kind of keep doing a few more runs of these. See if I can't nail it. Maybe we'll add that to the show later or something. But um, if you're so, if you're on YouTube, make sure to tune in live every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Central, um, 3 UTC, to twitch.tv slash Everyday Astronaut. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little sign out. But then I'm gonna come right back with Jared, and we're gonna kind of keep doing this. So you guys keep hanging out. I'll answer questions. We'll kind of just hang out. But we're gonna let this guy go. So with that being said. Uh, what, give us your sign-off. Do you remember your sign-off? I'm a... I'm just a guy. I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a guy who wants to know simple answers. So very go. simple questions. <laughs> very simple questions. I feel like I represent just your regular old guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. And I'm Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Over and out. Three, two, one, zero, four,